Hi readers! I'm so excited to see you again today. My name is Mrs. Coyne and today we're going to reread our poem Higgledy Piggledy Pop one more time together and do a little bit more word work. Now just as a reminder, if you would like your own copy of this poem, ask Grown Up to help you click the link down below and a Grown Up can help you print out your own copy of this poem or just ask an adult to jot this poem down on a piece of paper and that way you can read it at any time, whether it's independent reading today or tomorrow or just for fun this evening. Okay, so we have been reading the poem Higgledy Piggledy Pop and you guys have become experts on reading this poem. So I did something a little bit tricky today and maybe you're already noticing it. I hid parts of the words. And your job today is do some thinking about what you know about letters and sounds and words and see if you can figure out how to fix these words so that they make sense. Are you ready to help me? Okay. Let's read together and let's see if you can help me fix these words. Ready? Sitting up nice and tall readers. Let's read, starting with the title. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. Uh-oh. Does anybody remember what that word's supposed to be? Oh, that's right, of course. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. But only the p, p, p is there at the beginning. Pop, pop. Can you help me figure out how to correctly spell the word pop? Okay, let's think about this. Let's stretch the word pop and see if we can hear all the sounds. Ready? Pop, p, ah, p, p, ah. Ah, uh, you heard an O, an ah for an O? Oh, that's right. P, ah, or an O comes next. Let's keep going, ready? Pop, p, ah, p, p, ah, p. You heard a p at the end of pop? I did too. Let's everyone take your air pencils in the air and can you all write a lowercase p with me? Ready? Down. Up and around. Good, let's do it again. Down, up, and around. Now let's see if that makes sense. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. Nice job. Let's keep reading. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. The og has eaten. Oh, it's not the og? Oh, what word is it supposed to be? The dog. Oh. That's right, the dog. Hmm, dog, d, d, dog. What letter do you hear at the beginning of dog? You hear a d, a d at the beginning of dog. Let's all write it together. Ready, everyone, put your air pencils up. Oh, if you don't have an air pencil, check your back pocket. Is it there? Awesome. Air pencils up, ready? To make a lowercase d, it's a magic C, up and down. Let's do it again, ready? Magic C, up and down. Nice writing. Let's see if that makes sense. The dog has eaten the mm. The dog has eaten the mm. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's right. The dog has eaten the mop. Mop. Mm. There's only a mm, m here at the beginning. I wonder how the rest of the word goes. Mop. Mm. Ah. Mm, ah, uh, That sounds a lot like the word pop. Mop, pop. Okay, so let's read the sentence and see if it makes sense. Ready? Let's read. The dog has eaten the mop. Great, let's keep reading. The pig's in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. That's right, that's supposed to be the word flurry, but I only see urry in the middle of the end. What sound do we hear at the beginning of flurry? Fl, fl, flurry. Oh, that's one of those consonant blends, isn't it? That means there's two consonants, two letters coming together to make one sound. Fl, fl, fl. What two letters? Can make up the sound fool. F? 
Yep. Fool. Fool. You hear an L? You're right. F L is the consonant blend that makes the fool sound in flurry. Nice job. Let's read that sentence again. Ready? The cat's in a flurry. Nice job. Higgledy, piggledy. What word is supposed to be there? Pop. That's right. Higgledy, piggledy, pop. Hmm. I wonder if you can use your sounds and write the word pop all by yourself. I bet you can do it. Ready? Get your air pencils out. Got your air pencils. Great. Let's stretch the word pop and hear all those sounds. Ready? P, ah, p. Stretch it with me. P, ah, p. Pop. One more time. P, ah, p. Pop. I bet, did you hear all those sounds? I bet you can write it all by yourself. Quickly, on your hand, write the word pop. P, ah, p. Show me. Yes! You wrote pop. Ah, uh, p o p pop. Air high five. Ready? Give me air, air high five. Yes. Nice job. Let's read this poem together one more time. Now that we've fixed it and we are experts at how it goes. Setting up nice and tall readers. Ready? In your best reading voice. Let's read. Higgledy piggledy pop. Higgledy piggledy pop. The dog has eaten the mop. The pigs in a hurry. The cat's in a flurry. Higgledy, piggledy, pop! Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? There are some words that rhyme in this poem, aren't there? There was the word pop. There was the word mop. Can you think of any other words that rhyme with pop and mop? Top? Ooh, that's a good one. How do we write the word top? Well, if we know how to write pop and mop, then we can write the word top too, right? We just change the p and m to a t. t. What letter is that? T, you're right. Top. T. A. Uh, p. Top. What's another word that rhymes with pop, mop, and top? Flop? Ooh, that's a good one. Flop has a consonant blend at the beginning, just like in flurry. But if we can spell mop or pop, mop and top, we can also write flop. Hmm, on your hands with your air pencils, can you write the word flop? Flop. Flop. Spread it with me. Ready? Fool. Ah, uh, flop. Excellent writing and reading today, you guys. Now I have a challenge for you. I know you were at home with your families, and today we talked about sounds and stretching words and also rhyming words. I'm going to challenge you with your family to think of even more words that rhyme with pop, mop, top, flop. How many words can you and your family come up with? And here's the catch, readers. Since you are so good at writing these rhyming words, I want you to write down the list. So think of some rhyming words with your family, and then you write them down. Nice job today, readers. I'll see you next time. Bye.